And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I am your host, Good Energy. How about Nuria Diaz taking on Donna Vekic? Now, listen, guys. Her dad calls her that. That's her name. I don't care what the announcers do. I watch so much tennis. The announcers literally sitting next to each other. Both of them are saying the name two different ways. It's Donna Vekic. That's what her dad calls her. That's what I'm going to call her. But listen, she's got power, guys. It's She's got the same game as Danielle Collins. There's... No doubt about it. Her backhand is one of the best in the business, top notch. I'm so happy she's winning. She's went through so much off the court, which is why I've been saying for a long time, it's a pleasure to see how she is, especially just that great run in California. Amazing in San Diego. Uh, San Diego's down a little too far for me, basically near Mexico. But the reality here is Donna is a beautiful woman. She's got a beautiful story, and this is her comeback road. I would be happy. Listen, I want Coco to win it, but I would be happy if Donna could win it as well. Donna's playing amazing, and look, there's no slam champion in the bottom half of this draw. It's wide open, and listen, Donna's striking the ball good. Um, She struggled for a while there coming back after the the, uh, injury, and a lot of that's her movement. Much like Danielle Collins, I don't think Donna or Danielle have the best movement but they do close out in time, right? So that's the thing about tennis is some of the players that close out the best don't necessarily have the best footwork. So that's interesting, right? So look into that. But nonetheless, Nuria Diaz from Spain, she's tough as nails, guys. When I saw her against Serena in Canada, she has, oh, she has, she is tough. You see some of the faces she makes, she's got fire in her. She doesn't play around. But this is stylistically, it's a tough matchup. I don't think she's going to lay down, though. Uh, Right now, she finds herself down early. She's going to have to regroup, get it together. Uh, 